Good morning, good morning. From a car on the shores of Saginaw Bay. <clears throat> Fish Camp 2024 is here. Uh, welcome to the channel, if you're new. We do a lot of hunting and archery videos, but something else that I like to do is go fishing. And the hope is that we're going to do some walleye fishing, like we do every year. I meet up with a group of guys and uh, fish the waters of Saginaw Bay for some walleye. But, as you can see, it's light out and I'm confined to my vehicle because of rain and thunderstorms. So one thing that we don't want to do is fish in thunderstorms. So we're waiting for that to pass. We might go get some breakfast and get a little bit of a later start. That's the hope. We're hoping to get on the water today. But regardless, this fish camp is so much fun. These are people I only see every year. Um, and uh, it's really been a blessing. So hopefully we'll get on the water today. If not, we can uh, always have fun in camp. But regardless, that's the plan. And hopefully we'll catch some fish. How'd you sleep? Oh, pretty good. Not good. I'm too excited. <laughs> We're on a boat. Captain Dave, he's been in videos before. We've got Eli and Brad with us today, Saginaw Bay. We waited out the rain, went and got some breakfast, so well nourished, but getting a late start. What time is it, Dave? Nine something. 9.22 9.22 and we're headed out of Linwood Beach Marina which is where we typically launch from this time of year and we're going to go see if we can actually find some fish so we're going to head to some spots we've heard about spots we've covered in the past and do some scanning see if we can find some fish and then we'll uh, get to trolling and hopefully we can hook into a couple thoughts captain Plan. That's the plan. We're just going to pray that the thunderstorms didn't put fish down. Might slow things down a little bit today, but we'll hope for, we'll hope for the best. Yep. And hopefully the wind holds off and we can get some time on the water. But regardless, it's going to be a good time. Looking forward to it. Look forward to it every year. So, we'll see what happens. What's the status there, Dave? Well, I got some head shaking. Hit the waypoint. Every time we get a fish, see that flag, you hit it twice. So we were just setting lines, ready to kind of film a uh, what are we doing. And as is a sign of a good spot, Dave is hooked up while we are setting lines. So handing it off to Brad. Got a little head shaking. This is the drag here. I know. Yeah, he oh, knows. Oh, I'm well versed in these. You got it, Lewis. Can you slide? Does it feel anything? I'm just trying to keep the order from diving under. I don't see it. I feel a head shake. It's there. Trust me. I'm just keeping the board from diving under. Oh, you're good. You want to get the board, Dave? Oh, yeah. Just a second. Get the net, Eli. Do good? Fish on. There's definitely a fish on. Can you bring him over here? Yep. Walleye. 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 Yep. Come over here. Can you come over here? 
Nice one. There we go. That's one for the box. One for the box. Hey. Nice work. Um, <laughs> 40, I think, on that one. Okay. Good cool. work. That one's at orange. Okay. So, we got to our spot. Uh, marking fish, which is good. We've already got one in the box because we're setting up. So we have line counter reels, uh, and we have these tadpole divers, which help get the line down. We're fishing for a suspended fish, so we can adjust depending on our lead length, how far down this goes. And we've got a long leader for a crawler harness, which has a couple hooks on it. And what we're gonna do, it's a little bit unique what we do, is just one hook, just the front hook in the nose of the crawler, stretch it out behind the second hook, and we actually just pinch off the back. And we do not hook that second hook, we let it freely ride. So now it's ready to go. Our tadpole is. So we're counting up and we're in 6, 15, 16 feet of water. And so what we're going to do is oh, turn that line clicker off and we'll go out somewhere between 40 and 50 feet is what we caught this first fish on. So once we get there, cleaner board on. So we use offshore cleaner boards. Uh, I like them the best. And these serve two purposes. One is to get the lines away from the boat. And the other is to hopefully help with a detection of a hit. And so the way that we put these on, if you want to come back here, just is our main line. We put a whole bunch of loops in. And then we clip this first clip on those loops so that we can actually pull this out of this clip when we get a fish and we can explain this a little bit later when we get a bite and then we provide some slack and then make sure that we get this back line behind behind the clip that's in this red uh let's do 55 clip the pin in that red clip and then make sure that it's running through and not behind the flag now we can just release however much line we want and it's going to send it out away from the boat and then we're trolling crawler harnesses for walleye. So hopefully we'll get a bite here not too long and we'll show you the process of getting that board to go to the back of the boat and hopefully catching a fish.
that fish in the box I was putting this rod out. I didn't even have the board on. I was going to get ready to put the board on and pin. But pretty aggressive head shakes, so we're thinking of cheese. Gotcha. David. I thought he was trying to tennis racket that one. <laughs> Here we go. We're on a pattern. <laughs> Eli seems to be hooked up. Oh, patience. Here we go. Right at the back of the boat. Here we go. Orange again. Orange again. That'll keep. Good job, Eli. Nice. So the wind's picking up. And uh, waves are picking up. We're gonna head back in shallow, past where we started, <laughs> and uh, hopefully be a little bit more protected from the wind and waves and do another troll. So we always troll with the wind, so we got out of waves with the wind, and now we're gonna head back against it and then set back up and do another run. So it's been a bit, we moved, lost a board, went back for it, winds picked up, suns came out, we've caught some sheep's head, or freshwater drum, uh, and Dave is hooked up with what looks like another one. So good to stay busy. It uh, hasn't been hot and heavy for walleye. We've got three in the live well, and then that makes, what, three sheep's head? Yeah. And then light bite, we've lost some, but we'll keep at it. It's early, early days. Mark and fish like crazy. Fish like crazy? You still can't catch them. Yeah. Let's I hear the commentary. You, you did? This fish is heavy. We're gonna see what it is. Or you just call one. Yeah. Right. What's your prediction? I'm the one that held my. Phone I don't right. think it's a sheep's head. I think it's a big cat. Big cat. I think so. Dave, are you gonna get the board? Yeah. As he's setting another rod, preoccupied. I'm an old. You gonna get the board? I get multi here. So Brad's lifting up, and Dave's just unclipping. The clips on the offshore board, again, tension. Certainly seems heavy. Line feels heavy. Woo! That feels heavy. Big knot. Big net. Let's have a 30 incher. It's seeming like just weight. It's, it's not shaking like you know, like oh. the sheep's head were before. Uh, it's a cat. Huge yeah, cat. Big cat. Big cat. Good call. I'm glad you're the one who gets to take it off the boat. They're fun to fight. Jeez! Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. <laughs> that's a big boy. You have to hold that one up, oh, Brad. Nice work. Hey, That's one of the fun things about Saginaw Bay. Obviously, if you breed walleye, you get to get some cats. Yeah, it's an amazing walleye fishery. Lots of eater walleye, generous limits. But to keep you busy, sometimes you get sheep's head and catfish. And although they're maybe disappointing to some, they certainly fight harder than a walleye. And a uh, good way to keep busy. You gonna pick them up, Brad? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice 
nice work. Amazing. You have a cast? No. Oh, <laughs> that ain't my catch. Here we go. He gone. He gone. Did you see it out there, Dave? Yeah, it's already through. So we got a telltale sign of a catfish. An extremely heavy fish that was on the top out behind the board. Yes, biggest one of the day. <laughs> Got a Just uh, did another move, 130. Um, ultimately, we got to the end of our run. Kind of, there was about 10 minutes where we didn't catch a fish. It was getting pretty windy, wavy, just because we're working farther offshore. And so we're going to do that same run again. So we picked up three, four walleye, lots of sheep's head, catfish. Uh, so we figured it was successful enough where we're going to do the run again. So we ran back in towards shore, shallow, and now uh, we're setting up lines trolling with the wind and we're gonna end up back out to 15 16 feet and it's kind of the program just trolling with the wind doing what we can on a day where uh, maybe the forecast scares some people off but we're out here we've got seven eight walleye in the in the live well so that's that's a success and a, lot of cats. and a lot of catfish a lot of sheep's head but it's good good for keeping us busy so we're gonna get line set and hopefully we'll pick up more so it's still early afternoon lots of time left in the day okay. <laughs> staying down big walleye big walleye that's my oh wait I think it's a large sheep's head, but we'll see. It's staying right down. It's staying wow. way down. It's nice and gentle. All right. Huge sheep. See you already. Yeah. Get him, Eli. Oh! 
Oh man, that's a whale. That's a hell of it. Whoa! <laughs> that might be a master angler. It might be. <laughs> I don't, do you know the size for, I think it's 30, 30, 30? That's a good one. Should measure that one on the tape. What do we got? 25. 25? I don't think I have okay. a picture, Eli? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gotta give me a kiss now. No, this no, one's I, yours. I don't want that. <laughs> Someone else can come <laughs> Even trash fish are fun. So here we are. Dave's got the spinning rod with a planer board on it. Can't keep all lines in the water. That's a good problem today. Yeah. Lately. Lately, just on this run. Good old hook set after you take the board off. That's great. Uh, what do you think? Probably sheephead, but it's got a little head shake, but it's not anything out of control. Yeah. Not yet. I will. Let me sure the boat doesn't get hurt on it. Nice walleye. Sweet. There it is. That's right. In the boat. Another one. All right. So we're running low on batteries for trolling motors and graphs and things. So that's that for today. So we just ended up with a double right yep. before we picked up line. Yep. So I don't even know how many we have in the box, but 11. yeah, 11 dozen, whatever. So short of our 32 limit, but uh, not bad. Better than the other folks. The fair second today. half of the day was much more productive. Yeah, but it's just getting nice out and we're heading in. So that's about typical for how that goes, but such it is, we got fish to clean and camp to enjoy. So that's what we're gonna do. And that's that. We're gonna head back out tomorrow. I don't know the boat allocation, what that's gonna be, but the weather looks good for tomorrow still, yes? So hopefully tomorrow will fare better regardless overall. Get an earlier start, hopefully be on the fish.